What is the ideas of a traditional relationship? What are the ideas of a traditional relationship? Um, okay. Um, yeah, I guess we can try that. Shit. Oh, wait a minute. What's okay. all No, 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 no. It's all good. Yo, pill. Mic check. Yo, mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right. one, two, one, two. Let me mute these motherfuckers. Let's go. Ain't liking nothing. I don't want to say it, but I'ma say it anyway. All in my business, keep them out of this, no matter how close they come. What's a nigga chance? No, I can't dance, just know my stroke A1. I ain't gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it, and I ain't gonna bite my tongue. You know a nigga hating when he gonna get paid? He don't like not one. You don't like me, I don't like you, and you ain't gonna like my gun. You heard what I said, never what I do, so you can't say what I done. As long as you real, I can fuck with you, I just don't like no bum. She get her own hair and the nails did, she almost made me come. I love her. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you let a nigga rob you, he ain't had no gun, but you steady popping that noise. You all on my page, you don't like nothing, but you steady watch my story. Your homegirl told me that you fake pregnant, this to get money and shit. She popping in the gram, got a couple lights, I got shorty think she a pimp. Yeah, one fuck, took her drawers off, shorty start smelling like fish. Yeah, got a car, told her ass, nah, she better off getting a lift. Girl, what you got? Cause that pussy hot, smelling like the middle of uh uh-huh. She ain't had no cheese eggs on no milk, bitch, you need to go to the market. Said my dick was little, it's an eggplant, bitch, ain't no Vienna sauce. I really think some of y'all niggas uh, gay. Y'all need it's to- your boy, JS1 and Supply, VVCRadio.com, Aries Lounge. Whenever we get a chance to drop it, we out in these streets, yo, I have got my dog. Uh, DJ Pell in the building. What's good, bro? Yeah, I'm here on another wonderful night. Ah, uh, oh, we gotta get our energy up, yo. This sounds really depressing right now, uh, bro. Hold on, I'm sorry. Why y'all depressed? I ain't depressed. I don't um, know. Well, Pell been that way. Somebody's bro. got. No, 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 no. Loosen up the uh, thing for that pole and then slide the pole back. Don't don't slide the whole base back. Oh, right now this is actually. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Pell, you in here? Somebody got late. I wish. Wow. Why? We got we we finally got back the beautiful talented Mogulas in the building, aka Morgan Pretty, hey. aka Morgan Petty. I'm not petty, but what's up, y'all? Yo, y'all missed me. Last time you was here, you was super petty. But anyway, um, oh my god, you were super petty. It wasn't but uh, um, yo, I'm yeah, we glad you back. You know what I'm saying? You taking vacations and shit? Just don't even want to come in. Don't want to call nobody till last minute. You know what I'm saying Dude yeah That's what niggas do When they want to take the day off Like let me just wait Until the last second And hit niggas If I wanted to take The and, day off I would have just said that Uh huh But Sure Whatever mm-hmm. Alright You know what I mean We back We back for another week of greatness I hope y'all enjoyed These last epic episodes man The Raven Paris episode Was phenomenal You know what I'm saying We had a blast And then of course You know what I mean The one from last week Was definitely uh, You know <laughs> We had a special guest K Renee Came on the show K Renee I'm sorry you know I missed you lady I know I thought y'all would have had fun I was, I was I'm pretty um, we were, I'm pretty sure we would have had fun for real, because uh, you're bisexual, she's lesbian, so I'm figuring there was going to be some Who kind of... Who said I was bisexual? That would have yeah, that, that been... Pill. That would have... <laughs> <laughs> yo, Damn, I, yo, 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 Did y'all see that bus coming? Cause I sure didn't. God Damn. Damn. We're labeling that was me a, now. That was a train, and ain't nobody told me that bitch was coming. Nobody said, Bill Walter. Ain't nobody say shit. Like, that was just some oh, bullshit. Man, that shit. Damn, that is fucked up. No, that's, this is so crazy. Like, now that like, we're putting label, like, I'm just saying, that like, someone did, like, like, both Yo, gender. Pill definitely asked why you were gay. <laughs> yeah. up, he yo. said you are gay. He said you're real gay. Damn. So I was I like, damn. Really, Pill? Bus. That's how you feel. I ain't never known I was gonna get thrown <laughs> in a bus like that before. <laughs> I saw my life flash before my <laughs> eyes. Yeah, that's crazy. In that seat. But that's how we know she didn't watch the episode. Throw her under the bus. Because she didn't see it. She would have said she would have saw that. It Man. was such a moment. It but was definitely a moment. I don't think you meant it though. I ain't I ain't, I think you kinda <laughs> threw it out there, but I don't think he meant that it. Was meant it. I, I, I haven't had a chance to watch the episode. Mm, mm, mm. What did you say? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> okay, let me, what did you say? I'm just uh-huh. saying, bro. Just, you gotta watch oh, it. Oh, I'm here now. Everybody ain't got nothing to say. No, no, no. I'm saying we 
already did the work. We recorded it, so you can go watch it. You know what I mean? If you really want to know. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. We got the audio and the video up. You can go check out the one and enjoy it. You know what I mean? All of the fun we made of you that you when you weren't here. <laughs> the fun that we made of you. <laughs> and you weren't here. You know what I mean? If you was here, if you wasn't here. I mean, well, if you was here, we would have made fun of you. And if you wasn't here, at least we're consistent. <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't matter whether you're here or not here. We gonna we gonna give you hot plates. That's what they say. Though. Consistency is key. Right, <laughs> consistency. That's what they is say. Key, yo. Okay, I see what I see. You what gonna, is going on? You not gonna trust our relationship if, if it's always something different? You feel me? <laughs> you right. So I'll let you know. Now, apparently, we sold out of all the cups. I don't know what happened, but uh, I think Morgan never went to the kitchen and got the cups. So. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on Morgan because we were setting up the equipment. So the reason why you see the lights and the microphones, that's what me and Pill did. And she sat on the phone, so she could have got the cups, but she didn't. I was working out some things mm-hmm. with work. I'm sorry, got you, guys. Got you. She just got a new job, yo. Y'all can check out every Saturday. She will be down Norma Jeans. You feel Damn. me? Like yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's called Shake It Fast. Watch yourself Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? That's Definitely enormous. come through. Stacks only. A thousand dollar minimum buy in to get in the building. Oh my god! So you know what I'm saying? Won't be there. Yes. This guy. That's exactly why she did it that way. So that you know. What yeah. I mean? There you go. Perfect. perfect. She want real niggas with high, real money. So high, come high rollers only. I got right. It. Right. She don't care if you got a slit or a dick, yo. You can come in as long as that stack is right. Absolutely. So you know what I mean. Let's make it happen. Yeah. So anyway, we'll stand outside and beg for change. <laughs> <laughs> Man, change. <laughs> you got a thousand dollars to go in, motherfucker. You can give me a dollar. So you got to spend Man. twenty on you. Spend twenty. <laughs> You got a spare 50 on you. Oh my if you coming God. in with stacks like that, a spare yeah, 50 can, is nothing. You can let me hold $5, <laughs> my right. God. Like, Why are they like this? Let me get a spare tonight if you slide me that five. Fuck a bro. five. That's disrespectful. I'm homeless, nigga. Give me a spare 50. Let me get a hotel room. <laughs> and, like, shit, let me get a lap dance too, my nigga. Bring me in so I can go that. Oh, damn, and you can pay my way, nigga. Can I get a spare hundred? <laughs> can I get a spare hundred? So if you haven't done so, please make sure you go right now. Yeah, you know I mean, cop them up uh, cups. You know what I mean? They only like fifteen dollars. We'll send you a bunch of them. I'm gonna send you more than a little eight. I said. So just yeah, you know I mean, support the movement. And then um, on top of that, make sure that uh, if you haven't done so, join at the everyslounge.com members only section. You can join for as low as two dollars a month. You know what I'm saying For the first month And then $5 after that Or $20 a month uh, you also have to. We're gonna be doing some other stuff because I just figured out some new features. So I'm gonna have some exclusive, like individual little content pieces if you want to cop. So you'll be able to do that. Uh, yo, don't forget to go to our merch store, everyslounge.shop. Cop that merch right now. And if you haven't done so, you know what I'm saying. This lovely lady's got a business out here. She's gonna plug it. So like, yeah, you know I mean, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so we have 713 Beauty Bar, and I am an assistant, so we got waxing services available. Um, you can go to 713 Beauty Bar. On Instagram, um, seven seven thirteen beauty bar at gmail dot com. You can email me. That's how that goes. Boom. You ain't set up a G a G number or a Google Voice number. I did not. <coughs> you um, do that. That's why I actually have my actually no. The business phone number is four one zero nine two five five three four two. Right, right. Phone lines open, gentlemen. <laughs> Send a dick picture and be like, <laughs> "How should I shave it?" Oh, oh my god! Let me stop. Let me if you're stop. still Let me shaving, stop. can you wax this? I am not coming to you to 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 wax my area. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I, yo. I love you, you my nigga, but you don't need to look at my privacy the same way. I don't need to look am, at your privacy. I, people, on the contrary, I like really am a professional when it comes to my job. I, I am like, so grateful for you. That that's you. so great. But it's not happening, bro. I will I'm not be embarrassed in your eyes. Yeah, right. Nah, I'm good to go. You drop my pants and she start laughing. Laugh. And shit. Like, I ain't with none of that shit, bro. I'm not with none of that shit. <laughs> I, I I feel too self conscious. I just do. I just do, Morgan. I don't feel comfortable yeah. with my own nakedness around. She would call her friends and say, This nigga's a circus freak, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's just what it is. That's Damn. Just, nigga. This nigga that said this nigga that. Is a circus That's freak. Insane. I had to take secret pictures to show y'all. Look at this little ass shit. Yo, you took pictures of my shit, dog? Hey, Yo. listen. Nah, nah, nah Morgan wouldn't do that. 
She, she would just draw it on a picture and send it to me. Nah, <laughs> draw it? Yeah. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing like a picture. He said, ain't, ain't nothing like a picture. Ain't nothing like a picture. That 1080p HD joint? Yeah, nah. If man. I just draw it, you ain't going to believe how small this motherfucker is. You got to see it to believe it. Right. So you trying to tell me you were, if, you're, if, you're, if your male best friend, Morgan, was like, yo, I'm a, I'm a statistician and like, yo, let me come and wax the joint. He, you going to drop trial so he can wax the joint? My esthetician who waxes me, she's my friend. That's different. That's different. That's woman to woman. Women but there stand are no around. Male estheticians. Like, like women be y'all be you be grabbing girl titties and ass all day, and y'all do that and be funny, and kiki ki and ha ha. You don't see me running around grabbing niggas crotch. Oh ha ha. Yo, your dick is big today, bro. <laughs> What? Why do y'all sexualize everything? Uh, no, if my best friend was uh, this was disgusting. his profession, he said, you know what? Let me I would. I would be that supportive friend. So if there was a such thing as a male assistant, would females go to him? <laughs> he said if there was such thing as a male assistant. <laughs> like there's <laughs> never been one in the history of the world. I don't know. I, I, mean, I honestly I don't I don't are there male estheticians? I don't think men, there may be, but I don't I, think men know what esthetician means. You know what I'm saying? What? Probably not. Said it again. <laughs> yeah, I, said, I, said it again. I said it. I can't even pronounce that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Estheticians. Estheticians. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any straight um, male estheticians. See, yo, there you go. That was another word. You talking straight. that bullshit, yo? You are not gonna drop trial in front of your best friend that you live with that nigga and be like. All right, y'all go ahead. Nah, that's not happening. Wax me up. <laughs> <laughs> you seen one vagina, you've seen them all. Okay? That's no, not that's true. not true. That's, not that's true. really not that true. That is not true. It's at not. All. It's, it's, that is the great adventure of, of women. <laughs> I've women is, seen some. And it could be a great adventure, too. Yeah. Yo, am I the only person? I really do be sitting there sometimes. I see a really attractive. I'm like, I wonder what a pussy look like. Like, not, I want to stick my dick in it. I just want to know what it look, what like. It look like. Is it one of the puffy ones? Is it like real thin? Is it this or is that? Like, I be wanting to know. I be wanting, yeah. No, no, you, no, you're not the only one. Cause okay, I be cool. wanting to know too. Like, I want it. Yeah, I, mm. especially if she got the big fat poom poom swimsuit. You be like, God damn, how much pushy she got in them yeah, drawers? Yeah, like if her pussy, lips is big, yeah. she, there's a labia's. Uh, yeah. Payroll, okay, you know, that yeah. means she didn't got fucked a whole lot. But that's you know just what I mean? not what that means. <laughs> oh, I really sorry. want y'all to understand. Just what, that, what does that mean? That's it's like. <laughs> yo, what's the roast beef out the bun, yo? <laughs> 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 No. I'm sorry, yo, my bad. Yo, that does not equate the amount of dicks a woman takes. Some women are literally born with longer labias and a, mm. a, a fatter clip, like whatever, mm. dude. That's cool. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not disgusted by it. I, we was just telling you what we learned. From growing up Is that like When you see some shit like that Man she was getting Porn star mm-hmm. Out this joint just, She was it, catching it If you if so, you go in And you kind of like Fall in Then that's what That kind of means you know? That's a fact I'm like, No that's, that's not <laughs> no, that's oh, oh it's not a fact I'm sorry Not a fact at all people <gasps> I want y'all you, to learn Vaginas If you kind of like Fall in <laughs> I do too I know my vagina <laughs> Yes sir then Line them up And I will the learn The elasticity of a woman's vagina Does not Matter how many dicks right. she has taken, I've heard that the more horny she is for you and more she wants you, her, uh-huh. vag- her vaginal opening can expand. Yeah, it expands. Oh, okay, that's different. Okay, yeah, it's a muscle. If so you, yo, if you don't work your muscle, it's just going to be you so, know. Yeah, next time she say your shit is little, you be like, nah, bitch, I got you so horny, it's big as hell. That's <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. That's what you tell her, son. That's yo, you know what I mean. But she might get offended because you know females not some females not that smart. You know? Man, but the, the more <laughs> Wait, that they just, a woman. Is, Wait, they be like, you cannot open. say that on I the show. Some. No, you can't say that. Because if I say, look, God damn, you girl, cannot say. Listen, yo, girls are not, if, some girls are not that smart. You can't say that. Listen, you can't say if I if you fucking a girl and you like, damn, girl, this just so you must be turned on and fell in this shit. She is not gonna be upset. You can't say she's not gonna be mad. <laughs> she's gonna be pissed. This about to be some shit. I'm telling you the the hate mail that's gonna come from this episode. I'm just saying, y'all just this, Morgan y'all, just came back. Dog. Y'all defined it. Y'all defined it to me that way. I so now I'm just nothing. redefining it in a different way. 
All right, we were talking about something, and then we got way off way track. Way off track. I don't, I don't even remember. Because every time remember. we got to bring up my profession, it always got to go left. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Because your talking profession about. is left. Your yeah. profession is squarely, it's, it's squarely left in the left lane. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's go back right and get on it, you know. No, right. I, like the, I like the left lane. We didn't swerved over. Let's just get back on track to where we're going down there. I like the fast lane. Mm. We're going to move it to the, to the middle lanes, you know, neutral. <laughs> you know Word Okay 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 Yeah Um Let me get on my Disgruntled J segment Um I know it's uh It's a lot of words But um I try I, I wrote a lot Not necessarily Cause I wanted to say a lot But I wrote a lot So I can remember exactly Exactly what it was What it was And what it meant Okay So uh what you take in, uh Meaning that like The stimuli Or experiences Or people you're around And cause I'm trying to be Very clear about this you know what I mean? What what you as an individual, you you as an individual, you you people at home, me, like the people, the things that we surround ourselves with that become a part of our everyday experiences, the TV, the radio, the music, the the people, the job, the experiences, you know, your environment <clears throat> molds your perspective. So like the reason why I'm saying this is that that I was on uh Twister mm, Twister. Twister. I was Twitter. on Twister. <laughs> I was on uh, Twitter, and um, Marilyn LaVon had posted something, and uh, she was reposting, excuse me, retweeting a tweet where a woman, uh, it was like a bunch of text messages, and in the text messages, it's a woman, uh, not actually not a text message, but a DM, and this young girl is trying to holler at this dude, and she's like, she did a little quirky little intro, like, yo, I like this, I like that. And then he immediately goes, yo, you know, you ain't going to want to fuck with me. I'm only 5'8". And then she says some other stuff, and it's a back and forth. But it didn't matter what she was saying, and she was really trying to be positive towards him. She was obviously trying to, like, give him some. But he kept saying, nah, chicks don't fuck with me. Nah, yo, don't nobody like me. You know, nah, yo, my life ain't going nowhere. Like, you ain't want to fuck. And then towards the end, like, the last one of the last things she said is, nigga, I've been trying to highlight you this whole time. And you're so you're so consumed with feeling like nobody's attracted to you. I'm literally trying to talk to you. And he was like, Well, you you're not gonna really wanna fuck with me. You're not gonna like me. That and is so annoying. I'm sorry, go ahead. I hate that. But you have a personal experience you wanna share? <sighs> oh Morgan. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Go ahead, share. Uh, no, I just hate that. Like, I'm gonna let you finish your your thought, and then um, it's annoying. Well, it's I mean, fuck. you know, uh, it's not just that; it's everything. Like, even to you know, what I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not trying to put pill on blast, but he has a tendency to come in sometimes and be on some. Well, yo, I ain't shit, and I'm depressed, and I'm this, and it's cool. I understand when you're in a certain space. However. It comes down to what you're surrounding yourself with. And it also, you have to start thinking about how you're affecting the people you're around. So, like, you know what I mean? Now, and then I'm not saying that, Pill, so you can go stick your head in the sand and go, woe is me, I shouldn't be around people because I'm depressed. You know what I mean? The, the greater point is, if things are not right, then you should do something about it and you should make changes. And then you have to realize that you have to realize that <clears throat> every experience that you experience is not the definitive for your whole entire life. So the guy went into this message talking about how women on Twitter say this and all you got to do is 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 do a search for this hashtag and you'll see all of these tweets of women wrong one uh women saying that they uh I'm talking wrong knob it's the other knob on the other side What Oh no I already I lifted up Okay cool <laughs> So um he's like yeah all of these women there's a thread and these women are make fun of short men and I'm thinking to myself, short, you say you 5'8". That's not short, nigga. That's average height. Actually, it's taller than average height because the average male is 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. So, Whoa, what? Yeah, that's the average height for the average uh, human being. You got to remember, when you account for six or seven billion people, you have, like, you know, a few billion, uh, like, little niggas. So. Asians, Hispanics, people, they're not all tall. They're so, not. However. So African Americans, oh, excuse me, the Germans, African Americans, and certain Europeans who are historically kind of taller, they're not the norm. So our culture is not norm. So what you think, when you see the average black dude being six feet tall, six and a half, whatever, or five, nine, or six feet tall, that's not average. The average height of the human being on earth let is me, five, four, five, five. Google this because... You go right ahead. So 
<clears throat> even if it's not the average and this guy is 5'8 and he's a little bit under average, that does not mean that there are not women in the world who would want you as a mate. Just because Morgan is doing some disgusting shit trying to uh, change the norm of what the world is to suit her image of what she feels like a man should be, that should not mean that you should go around Don't and feel bad. I've dated short guys. Yeah, right. They're not for yeah, me. They're but... only 5'9, but you know, I. No, I actually, he was 5'7. He was the same height as me. I can't do it again, but. You know, shut up. I What's like the difference. I like tall men. I I uh, wear six inch heels. I like. It's, yeah, I was just about to say that. I, it I, it, it yeah. only fits with her lifestyle choice. Anyway, <laughs> it has it has nothing to do with happiness or whatever. The greater point that I'm trying to get at while she's doing her insanity is, yeah, it's insane. Okay. Uh, number one, stop defining your life by the experiences that you're having. An experience is to educate you on how you should move. It should not color your entire life. Meaning you could have experienced racism a whole lot throughout your life growing up. That does not mean the whole world is racist. Mm. (laughs) You could have had bad experiences growing up, but that doesn't mean that your whole life is bad. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, I've seen niggas get beat the fuck up, shot, treated like shit. And then they get up every day. And they come with a positive mind frame. They happy. It's not because that day they got they found a twenty dollar bill, but it's y'all because they looked at it like shit. I could be dead. I, could be I could have nothing, but I have this. You know what I mean? There are people that got make make jobs that's working at McDonald's and they happy as fuck because at the end of the day they alive, they healthy. I could have nothing. You know what I'm saying? You got. It's not even about not have nothing. It's like yo niggas is just happy. You don't. You choose to feel the way you feel. You choose the color of your life in the in the color that you want to. You want to color it in. It's that important. And the reason why I get so disgruntled is because great people, the people that have the potential to be great, will walk away from that potential because they choose to live in what they think instead of finding a better place to be in. If you and I can't reinforce this enough, and I even have to talk to myself from time to time, I'm not talking to you as the super professional person. Shit, I lost my radio station. Nigga, like, I don't have a big building no more. We're not balling out of the control no more. We've had to scrimp, scrimp, save, and get back to where we are the way we're doing it. But at the same time, it's it's every day you work on something new. And I'm not even saying that every day that I'm happy or that I look at the world from this happy place. But what I will say is I refuse to just sit in just... Yeah, you know the life sucks and people ain't gonna fuck with me. And if I was to think like that, you have to. You wouldn't have. I wouldn't have shit. I mean, I wouldn't even be in the little situation I'm in now, or have all this equipment, or have a team, and us being able to do. What you we have to do. think of yourself with the shit. You have to have. You have to look at yourself as you have to put your. I'm sorry, you have to put yourself on a pedestal. And if you believe it, other people will. You can't if you you. I disagree. I mean, yes, yes, I will agree, but I will also disagree. I will, I will say this. Find people. The most important thing I learned was, number one, find people that appreciate what you do. Mm-hmm. Find people that are into what you're into. So, like, I had to find my tribe. I had to find people that were in the media mm-hmm. so that when I got around those people, those people immediately were attracted to me, not in a sexual way, but just attracted to the fact that, oh, damn, this nigga been doing this for a long time. They can see my skill set. Yeah. And they immediately appreciated it. You know, I had to find, uh, I had to find, you know, uh, a place for myself where people recognize what I was and what I was trying to do so that they could not only appreciate it, but they helped me. And mm-hmm. at that point, once you're in that circle, it's it's different. You know yeah. what I mean? I was used to being around. Yo, I've got family members that tell me to my face, yo, you used to suck at this and you wasn't shit at that. And da, 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 da. And it's like, all right, you know what I mean? And I used to take that. And I, the, the thing that makes me different is that I took those things as motivation. Like, all right, let me fix it. Let me get better. Blah, 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 blah. But I also recognize that 20 years later <clears throat> that I probably could have done more if I had taken myself out of the circle of those individuals mm-hmm. and I put myself in a circle of people that saw and recognized my skill set and then was determined to help me get where I wanted to go the same way I wanted to get where I wanted to go. Mm-hmm. Things would have moved a lot faster. Yeah, you, you know I mean? and you aren't, and people, we aren't for everybody. Everybody isn't for us. Yeah. So, like I said, you have to be around people that elevate you and want to be people. That, and you have to surround yourself with people you want, not going to say you want to be like, but their success motivates you. Right. 
I mean, so, and, and I don't mean just their success, but them motivating you because they respect and appreciate you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like we overlook when you do have people around you, you overlook them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Pill has a reason. He he generally overlooks me, even though I encourage him so much because that's not what he wants. He don't want to encourage me. He want he want to sit around and be depressed and smoke weed and drink, and he wants to continue to wallow, 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 wallow. I'm not in that wallow space. I'm mm-hmm. not trying to wallow in self pity. Like you know what I'm saying? Yes, I've got man tits and yeah. yeah, my dick ain't all that big and yeah, it all all that. What that's that shit ain't got nothing to do with nothing, my nigga. Like you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. And if the dick issue is that big of an issue, nigga, go get a fucking dick implant, yo. Whoa, they time out. Huh? They make those? You motherfucking right. You know what I mean? Do Thank your fucking research. God. Google some shit and get out there. Why and fix did? It. Did See, because I'm talking to Pill. Why you in the middle of that discussion? You ain't got nothing to do with Dang. that. That's your because like, <laughs> ain't got shit. To you do gotta. With it. it don't, yo. At the end of the day, it's as much as you gotta understand. With every joke, there's still a there's still a line of seriousness mm-hmm. involved in it. So as much as all right, your mic ain't plugged in. No, nah, it unplugged by mistake. All right, now try it. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay it went out again. All right, Pill, you gonna have to give her a hand with that. What's going on? Mike, it doesn't like me today. Uh, I think once you started moving around, yes, it looks a lot better. Okay, cool. In every line of of comedy, there's a little bit of truth, and I mean that might be some insecurity. Now, mind you, it might all be insecure. It might all be jokes, or my all. But at the end of the day, you have to separate to get to where you want to be. Like the point is to get to a more healthy mental state. So if you're around people, and I'm care, I'm including family. I don't give a fuck. My family ain't the most supportive niggas in the world. I they love me. They, you know what I mean? They'll do whatever they can for me, but they're not, they are not good for me. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, some of my friends aren't good for me. And I had to start moving myself away from them, not because I didn't love them, but I recognize that their wallowing and all of that shit keeps me from, you know, elevating into my better space. You know what I mean? Um, if I can encourage y'all outside of all of this stuff that we keep repeating over and over again is to find the better version of yourself. And that means sometimes you got to dig within yourself and you have to, like I was, I was on the phone with somebody the other day and I was like, yo, what, what do you want to do? Like what's on you? Do you have a bucket list? Do you have a list of things that you've always wanted to do? Write it down. No matter how absurd it is. I don't give a fuck if you want to ride a bowl or if you want to go to the moon or whatever, like write that shit down and then put it somewhere where you can see it. Put it somewhere where every day you get up, you see that shit. It's the same thing with, you know what I mean? With doing yearly goals. It's the same thing with, um, doing to do lists, like mm-hmm. figure out what it is that you want and start working towards those things. One Make thing a at a time. Board. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's kind of gay, but yeah, f- a vision board works vision too. Vision boards are lit. I don't give nobody say. Yeah, I'm saying I, I get you. So if you're a guy yeah. and you and you don't want to, you know, clip, you don't want to sit down on the floor and clip clip out newspapers, <laughs> you know, and magazines <laughs> and put pictures on a on a on a piece of cardboard and hang in your room, uh, you can go at it the way us normal people that want to disguise every part of our life. We just write the shit in the book and close the book, or you put it on a board somewhere, like you write it on a dry erase board the way I do. And then you keep it moving. And then like that, the reason why I say that is because every day when I get up, I look at my vision board. You all right there, buddy? Yes, my name was going to sleep. Okay, I didn't want you to pass out. Uh, every day I look at my goal list. Everything I look at my vision board. And when I look at it and I got to walk past it, there are times when I stop. It's not all the time, but probably like once or twice a month, I'll stop and I'll start reading it and I'll go, what the fuck have I done? To get to these goals. You know what I mean Have I done any Man And a lot of things Like like alright One of the things I'll tell y'all I'll tell y'all Some of my shit On my goals this year One of my goals Was to buy my car Done Another goal this year Was to get my tooth pulled Now It took some doing Cause I ain't had no insurance And I ain't really got on have, I don't have no Job in the Government sense so let me hold on side for every people who do not have insurance y'all like don't play on don't sleep on this state insurance yeah i was just about to say that so don't like if you, if you don't have traditional uh work you can always go to the government and they have free insurance that you can get on and I it'll give it. you everything from dental it gives you vision um you have physical uh you have mental you know we're trying to get her signed up for uh therapy oh, now well i already had a therapist and i already told the people okay. about all walks of life don't do that so you need to um continue to uh see that therapist I actually don't, you might want to increase to like two or three days a week um so anyway uh you yeah, know all of those things dead people Hey, I'm not surprised. You smoke a lot of weed. So anyway, um, 
I would say I back to the point I was making is that I had a goals list. And in those goals were a bunch of things from taking my tooth out to getting my credit straight to, you know what I'm saying, getting certain things that I wanted for myself within that year. And like for real, for real. I, and I've got I see the thing is I've got multiple lists. I have a list for my personal, I got a list for every's lounge, I got a list for my company that I work for, that I work with, that I partly own. And then I go through and I accomplish stuff. And then a lot of times it's not complicated stuff. Like don't, I, I be trying to tell people, don't make your list gigantic. Like, yo, get 20 pairs of Balenciagas and you work at McDonald's, my nigga. Like, or like, yeah, son, I want to have a Maybach, something. Da, da, da. It's like, bro, like sensible goals. Like I ain't got no job. It should be get job <laughs> You be know what I'm saying one. Get second job You know what I mean And then like Okay uh, I say don't try to skip The Balenciagas Maybe get some Tommy Get some Nautica Like what y'all think I'm doing right now I had to refresh my wardrobe I found a way to get Inexpensive quality clothes That I really like That's it It wasn't like I'm out here trying to get Louis Cause I don't like Louis Vuitton I really don't even like Having labels on period But this as a childhood As a child I always wanted to have like Nautica But my family I didn't have enough money And I couldn't afford it And I didn't know That they had crazy sales Like this Where you could get shit On a cheap yeah. So like you find things And you make it fucking happen bro One thing at a time I didn't spend A thousand dollars on clothes I spend Ten dollars on this shirt And twenty dollars on that And ten dollars on that And I order incrementally As I have And over the Over the year Now I have a whole wardrobe Of quality clothes Like But it just takes For you to think And to move Just make small steps I think the problem that we have is it's like we trying to do everything at once. Mm. Oh, yo, I can change my life, but let me wait until the perfect. There is no perfect time. Mm -mm. There's never going to be a perfect time. There's never going to be that time when you have all the money. There's never going to be the time when you're motivated or you're in the right mental space. You're never going to be in the right. You want to know why you're not in the right mental space? Because you sitting there on your ass looking at the wall and you sitting there wallowing. You got to get up. And you got to fight against it. It wasn't easy for me to just stop drinking and smoking. It wasn't. It was hard. But I could not stand getting up every day, barely breathing, or always, my head always spinning. I'm at work every day with a fucking hangover. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, there's nothing going on in my life. I'm literally sitting at home like, why the fuck am I getting drunk every day? Like, And then I'm like, yo, I'm a fucking alcoholic. Oh, my God. Like, mm -hmm. I've got to stop. I don't need a meeting. I need to hold myself accountable to me. That's the only thing that's important. So, like, get up. Do some shit. Make some changes. Move in a different direction, my nigga. Like, if if, if anything, and I'm not saying you, I, yo, if you need help, reach out and ask for help. Period. And don't try to pick and choose who you're going to ask for help from. Oh, I'm going to ask this one person. If they don't help me, I'm just going to die. Like, no, stupid. Ask any and everybody, everybody for help. Yeah. Yeah. If I you need me and you're watching this, reach out to me. DM me. Send me a message saying I need help. Okay. I have no problem helping. I need help. Can you build me a desk for work? <laughs> if you need help need Send a me a message work. Okay you can get a desk for work You can tell me that after the show <laughs> you said, you remember, said remember, help, right? remember when you we said was before help. the show And you showed me the post about people say give me this And then you had me <laughs> Okay I just want you to notice where your flaws at Now that's me helping you So anyway that's a good help. That was good help right there. That was great help. I liked it. I'm, like, I'm glad I could help. I liked it the way that worked. Yeah, for real, for real. But other than that, yo, I, and I'm not trying to say this out of malice or hatred to anybody or out of frustration. I'm telling you this because I noticed for myself. I remember... And I still deal with it. I still deal with, yo, chicks don't want to fuck with me because I'm big. Or chicks is like this. And women are like that. And then, like, yo, you got to catch yourself sometimes and be like, yo, shut the fuck up, you stupid motherfucker. Like, there's a chick, the same way there's a nigga that will fuck every fat bitch out here. There's a fucking little bad bitch that'll, that'll fuck the shit out of you. If that is, it, it don't matter. Now, at the end of the day, what I will tell you is... <laughs> The high, the more shit you put on that list for that bitch to be, I mean, excuse me, for that woman, you know, or that man or the mate to have, the harder it is for you to find that person. So I might cut off the unnecessary stuff. When I started cutting off some of the unnecessary shit and was just happy with, you know what I mean? A nice little list of important elements. Yo, you'd be surprised how 
you will have a larger list of options to choose from. You know what I mean? And then you will potentially find something that you really like. You know what I mean? But when if, if you're, and this is the other part I had to recognize to myself, why am I worried about shit that really don't matter? But it only matters to me because I'm afraid that if, well, if I take Shorty around the peoples and she don't look like the 10 model, it's going to be, it's going to be what, my nigga? If you happy, what the, what the fuck, fuck do it matter? matter? If that short motherfucker eat your ass out and toss your salad and cook you breakfast in the morning and put $1,500 $1, in your pocket and treat you like a queen... What the fuck do you give a shit if the niggas are a few inches shorter than you because you wear the you said the six inch heels and a, and you kissing that nigga on the head like he your baby? It don't matter because you know what? When you get home, he gonna toss your ass up. It's it what is what it is. <laughs> Just learn. <laughs> toss your ass up. You know what it is. Yeah, I know what it is. Fifteen hundred dollars in her hey, pocket. Hey man, hey man, she ain't gonna turn that down, is she? Yeah, huh? Your mic is off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he did that on purpose. I didn't. I'm, you see me? I'm not touching nothing. He did that on purpose. <sighs> I'm can gonna have to get rid of that cable. I think something might be wrong with the cable, but um. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So, is Ooh, everybody, oh, everybody in the same place? Y'all like understand it? We I like good. That. I appreciate All right, that. y'all good. <laughs> if you need help, <laughs> call Jay. Don't call me. No. Call we all know not to call you. You ain't answering the phone. <laughs> no I'm way. calling Ghostbusters. It's not true. Yeah, call it's Ghostbusters. Not true. I'm guys. Like, if you really do need, if you need to talk, if you need anything, I am actually here for you. Guys. She's not gonna answer the phone. Don't listen to Jay. I will. I'm only telling phone. you from real life experience. <laughs> <laughs> I've called her needing help. She ain't answer the phone for me. <sighs> That's all good. It's because you're a fat boy. Yeah. So good. That's a fact. <laughs> Ain't you supposed to be doing something? Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Morgan wants to make uh, a public announcement about some things that have happened in the past. All right. Yep. <clears throat> Let's sit here and let you do your thing. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you need some help? You good? I'm fine. You sure? Yes. You need a hug? I do want to send an apology. Yay. Out to a special young lady. Um, are we gonna say names? I mean, you can call it use her stage name if you want. To the curvy ballerina. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to send apologies to you. Some things got misconstrued. It was a miscommunication somewhere, and um, I just want to say <laughs> it was a miscommunication where somewhere. Where was the miscommunication? It's not an apology if you're trying to be vague about it. I'm like, not being vague. Some <laughs> words were exchanged. I'm not because it's. it's uh-huh. We know what we're talking about here. Okay. I mean, go ahead. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I want to send an apology out to Kirby Ballerina. <laughs> Jay. I, I thought she'd been like, "Man, I fucked up, B." You know what I'm saying? I made a mistake. I fucked up. I take responsibility for my fuck up. Can I finish what I'm I was sorry. saying? Hey, let me shut up. Let me shut up. Yes, yeah, that's right. true. But yes, like I said, I want to send an apology out to Kerry Ballerina. I did on my on my side. I was wrong, and I would like to send an apology out to you. Oh, where them hand claps at? Oh my god, it was so grown of you. And I love you for being so insistent upon doing that. You know what I mean? You so. Please go ahead. Yo, you are the shit, yo. Mm-hmm. All right. It is so important that we all in this journey mm-hmm. of growing up, right, you know, because right, right. we ain't nothing but some kids out here. Sure. Absolutely. You, you know right. what I'm saying? Show I mean, more right. Morgan's older than all of us by like 10 years, but still. Show you right. You know what I mean? She's only like 89. But uh, only 89. Mm hmm. Look at that ass though For an 89 year old She got it She got it right out here She's got that thing insured For like A half a million dollars and So anyway In our journey of us Growing and learning I want new friends You can You can have that and Since you asked I'll definitely be able To get you some. You know It is so important That we hold ourselves Accountable So that we can Continue to grow and you know That's about it I but totally agree with that Shout out to you And yo On our part You know what I mean uh, I definitely want to send my You know my apology out Publicly as well 
Um, you know, this she she came through. She showed us a lot of love. What she didn't, she ain't, she don't know me from Adam. I've never met her before. I never dealt done, done business with her before. So like, you know what I mean? Uh, some issues happen, and you know what I mean. I, I wanna I wanna say that's not the way we we don't like to ask people to come and spend time with us and then them, you know. It, it, it not, yeah, it not have a positive experience, and if there's any way we could always rectify it, or, or you know, what I mean, if we if if we are at fault, then you know, what I'm saying we just want to take responsibility for that because we big enough to do it. You know, what I'm saying Morgan is a real boss out here, and that's a part of being bossy. Is that we? It's a part, a major part of being a woman. You have to know when you're wrong. You have to apologize when you're wrong. You when we're adults, you know, and we are yeah. definitely adults. And we love and appreciate all of our ladies out here. Absolutely. And you know, what I'm saying, uh, even all of the guys, yo, bro. I, you know, we respect y'all. We love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not in no gay way. Just in the in the way of we just love y'all niggas and you know what I mean? We appreciate everybody for tuning in and staying tuned in. So, on to entertainment news. Yay! Thank you. Let me get some hand claps. Morgan is funny as hell. I just can't wait till the show is over because I'm going to make fun of her all the way home. Oh, so, wow. uh, I can't help it. She's just hilarious. All right. <laughs> Robert Queen. All right, yo, local clothing designer. I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. Well, you know who Robert I Queen is, I do right? know who Robert that's, Queen is. That's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Good people's man. I need to get some pieces, though, for high real life. We need to, I need to holler at that's Robert. That's a Queen. fact. Cause he we need to get him on the show. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. He don't he don't come out a lot, but I'm I'm trying to make it happen. So uh but like shout out to Robert Queen. He made an outfit for Mulatto. She took the outfit, she mm. put it on. Mm. Uh you ain't see it? Oh, it's cool. Yeah, nigga. It's it's nothing but ass cheeks hanging out the bottom of it. It's really, really you cute. You know what I'm saying? And a little it, it And was, it's not cute. What you mean? What? Ass cheeks hanging out. How's that cute? Oh Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, you are turning gay, huh? <laughs> That was the gayest shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? I thought it was pretty dope. Um, Every time... I I, I, I want to keep shouting out people from our city that do dope shit. You know what I mean? I, when I saw it, I was so proud of him, man. I hit him in the comment section. I was like, yo, that's big. You know what I'm saying? I told him I'm proud of him. And I'm going to say you right here on this show on my platform, Robert Queen, yo. We are huge fans. Yo, we love you. I've always appreciated how he supported us back in the day when he ain't know us from Adam. And he still shows his love and shit. So, like, facts, shout facts, out to you. Facts. Yo, you keep it popping. Keep making clothes for these celebrities. And I keep trying to tell you I done DM'd you about 18 times, nigga. I want my goddamn fur coat. So, let's get this shit done, bro. Stop playing. But other than that, you know what I mean? Y'all support Robert Queen. Follow him on social media. Enjoy his beautiful art. Yes, yeah, official Robert Queen. Official Robert Queen, my bad. So uh, number two thing on the ent- entertainment news is King Vaughn uh, was killed in Atlanta over the weekend. Um, I think it happened Sunday morning. Thir- actually, um, it was last week. It was Thursday. Like, was it? Mm, no, it was. Like, I thought it was on the weekend. It was Saturday. Um, uh, it, it wasn't Saturday. It was like Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I'm not really familiar with King Vaughn like yeah. that. I heard that he was that nigga. Um, I heard he was definitely one of the people coming up. He was signed to Lil Durk's mm-hmm. OTF label, um, and they had distribution through Empire. Um, he, I just saw him because they literally just released the episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game, and they had King Vaughn on it for this week. He had just came and shot it. That was the last interview he did before he died. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who he is. Never knew who he was, but I just know. He's known like everywhere. Cause I yeah. went to work and everybody was sad and upset and like, what the fuck is wrong? Who they, they killed my nigga King Vaughn? Who? Yeah. yeah, I didn't I didn't know who he was either. So I was like, but apparently he's like really popular. Yeah, like, yeah he's ooh. got some. He's I got heard some like money. he's really like a great storyteller. I have I I've tried to listen to it. It's not my speed. Yeah, <laughs> um, nigga, you never heard of King Vaughn? No. No. Yeah, like no. I, I know. That's my thing. Where I was just like, I, I, once again, I still recognize that I'm old, and there's like a lot of shit that that, that just I don't. Go, yeah. yeah, it just goes over my head. So, but I wanted to really acknowledge that. You know what I mean? Um, he's from Chicago. Uh, he did have a big effect on the youth. You know what I'm saying? Um, rest in peace to him. Uh, you know, I don't. I, I do y'all want me to go into the lecture about? Niggas need to stop doing this dumb shit, man. No, like, no. there's a point where you gotta let go of the street shit, bro. I mean, mm-hmm. as much as y'all love that, I know y'all love to embrace the guns and the drugs and the, and the crazy way of life. But it's only two ways out of that. 
dead or in jail. Damn right. And so. it's like you. It's like as someone who has lost someone to gun violence, that pain it don't go nowhere. That's a fact. That's a fact. It don't. You so, know what I'm saying. I mean, I sit here and I say I love a hood nigga. I love this, but honestly, to God, I don't. That's not. Word. It's not weird. I would say like I sit here and joke and say I yeah, get hood nigga because this is what I grew up on. But as I get, it's not. It's honestly, it's not what it is. I don't want. I, and plus, I read. I feel like, <laughs> and it's like I do. I read a lot of books, and I'm like I watch TV or whatever. So, but I know growing up and coming from Baltimore City, I know what it's like. Whereas though, I don't want my life on the line because you owe some niggas some money, right? Or you got a beef and they niggas they it's not. These young people coming up now, they don't respect the code. Women, women and children are off limits. Word. But where's the, like, I'm not trying to be tied up in nobody fucking basement because you got beef with the niggas across town. Right. This That shit is not, where's it? Like, no, nah. nah, I feel you on that. I mean, I think the other component, too, is it's just like when you out in the streets, you moving reckless, period. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? And that's no matter who cap- how careful you are, somebody's watching you just ready to stick the knife in your back. That's a fact. So, like, you know what I mean? I hope that, you know, this can continue to be another. I mean, how many more notches do y'all need to understand that, like, yo, this is not the way to live, man. We ain't mm-hmm. we ain't getting nothing out of it. So, anyway, Cardi B show, uh, showed off the prototype for her new Reebok sneaker on IG. I don't like it. Ooh. Interesting. All right. All right. Well, I'm not going to ask Pill. So, anyway, Travis Scott's McDonald's toy. It's going for fifty thousand dollars on the resale market. Um, <laughs> what regular? What 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 person? What no? What no? I don't answer that. I'm about to say. I saw <laughs> I saw the face mask going on the resale market for like a hundred and fifty dollars. Like, <laughs> like wow, for real. Wow. Fucking McDonald's. It doesn't make That's sense. Crazy. No, 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 no. It's like a partnership. So it's actually Travis. Travis Scott merch from his website, oh. but he he integrates. Like McDonald's products, like like you know, like the 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 Travis Scott, his he got a tray and it's got a cheeseburger and it's got a French fry and all that shit on it, and then like the Cactus Jack joint got the McDonald's. Y- y'all logo. remember two chains? So what was it? A fork? I got you. Huh? Made a million off a dinner fork. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you can do that, a million dollars. I mean, if you can do that, a dinner fork. I'm not mad at the Travis Scott. See, my, but like that's the thing. He made a million, but it's not. It wasn't. Un- it, it wasn't a thing where people pay whatever they pay for from his website and then try to resell it for fifty thousand. Like this is the resale market. It's not retail. This is resale. So somebody y'all bought the cra- shit. Y'all on these reselling prices. Y'all niggas is out of line. But people be buying it. That's yeah, because it's it's, it's well, ridiculous. Like how? So that means something like niggas. Like if I buy a pair of Jordans for one hundred and seventy dollars, mm-hmm. and you want to resell it, and I want to resell it. Y'all sell it for two hundred. If you got now, right, I'm going to sell it for two seventy because I'm going to make my hundred dollars. That's bit. what I'm saying. Okay. But I'm just saying, niggas is going four fifty for a hundred seventy dollar pair of tennis that cost ten cent to fucking make. Yeah, mm, not yeah. ten cent. It not ten cent, on, but you like five dollars. But, but you get the point of what I'm saying. It depends on the rarity of the shoe. It ain't that deep. Shit, people paying thousands and thousands. Of dollars I know. For, I like me. Like I want shoes my, that that you know. I want, my, um, or some shit I like want my bread eleven so bad, but I'm not about to sit here and buy no four hundred dollars for no bread. Shit, I'm you know, you if you had the money. Hey, Even not, if I, I I've had the money and I didn't do no, no, it. Like say if you was like a millionaire for real, like you know what I mean. Like podcasts take off. We all making stupid crazy money. So you spending four hundred dollars is nothing. I mean, and you want them so you can be fresh for a party. I'm, you going? You right. I mean, because I spent se- you right because I spent seven hundred for dollars on a pair of blue socks. But you know what I'm saying? God damn, for real, I man. did. Right. I mean, I'm not mad at you. I feel like everybody. But I'm has just a, saying. But I'm just saying, reselling the price of like a, a Jordan tennis shoe is ridiculous. Word. Yeah, That's what shoe, I mean. I didn't okay. understand the market for tennis shoes. Somebody had to break it down to me. Like the people actually buy tennis shoes not to wear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sit on them in a box and then sit on them. Yeah. And then the, the sneaker show comes and then they the same two hundred fifty dollars shoes that they pay for now they selling it for fifteen thousand dollars and it sells every yeah. time. Like the if they not, if Jordan physically crazy. didn't wear these shoes on his feet, I am not buying. <laughs> It would be a lot more money than that. Yeah, it definitely would. Then I mean, then yeah, I understood. But it's just man. But I wonder how much a game pair of his sneakers will run. Yeah, probably like crazy, a mil, crazy, probably some shit crazy. like that. Cause you know what I'm saying, if it's some shit he wore and he won the game, yeah, crazy. Ooh, yeah, crazy, that's crazy. Yeah, but these, uh, I'm, a, I'm a joint, I'm a sneaker fan. I love sneakers, but I, I just, I have a limit. I have, I draw the line somewhere. 
Word. I drew the line somewhere. I mean, I drew the line at the original price, so I don't even want to pay the hundred and seventy. <laughs> I don't want to pay the hundred and seventy. I'm looking for the sale price. For real. I'm trying definitely trying to catch the Jordan at Marshall's or whatever for like, you know, sixty five dollars, seventy five dollars. Well, so uh the outlets will have like uh Jordans for like seventy five dollars, stuff like that. Yeah. I, f- I ain't found it. It's after yet. like and they be ugly. Cause, no, they had some Jordan ones in there last year. Yeah, you're going to find ago. like your ones and probably like your order. You're not going to find like your. Le- you no, might. You're not going to find no brand new. You ain't going to find no brand You're going to find some like. Some shit that's been in the back for three years. Yeah. Wait a minute. So, like, it, what, what outlet is y'all talking about? Like, any outlet. Any like, outlet. you go to Queenstown or. Like, if you can oh, even, like, if you go to like is. the shoe depot, like, you got your Nikes and your. If they're not Oh true yeah, yeah, But yeah. they're not like It's a where I don't know these places like I've never shoe been depot there. Or something like that Yeah like shoe, shoe like, shoe, like shoe depot What where is, is that? it Shoe warehouse I mean, shoe footwear. I mean, I mean foot, uh, Where's the shoe warehouse Where's these It's in a couple malls it's it's Just one. like malls and stuff yeah, like, you, like, like discount shoe stores oh. Yeah Like off Broadway DS, Like your DSWs, DSW's And yeah. those there Name brand shoes But they're like Yeah I mean They're like your Scratch and dents you know yeah, what I'm and they send those oh, out. So it's like I learned, like when I went to school for this, it's like it's a way that the market is like you have like with your designer clothes, like how Marshalls might got the micro cores bags, and you get them for half the price. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I want to. Def- it's gonna have a flaw in it somewhere. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a, fl- a defect. It's a different. Yeah. It's not even no. It's not even a defect. It's I forgot oh, I went to school for this, and I can't remember. This shit was so long ago because I was a fashion major, so I know all about it. But yeah, mm-hmm. and like how your department stores get a certain print. It's like name brand stuff, like how your uh. Off, uh, off white. No, uh, sex off of Fifth Avenue. Like the it's right. sex, but it's like, and then you got your Nordstrom rack and right, stuff. Right, yeah, right, so right, it's, right. yeah, the All stuff right. that they don't sell. But I mean, you know what I mean. All right, Drake says we will hate on his new album the same way we hated on Views. I liked Views. Yeah. I, I, wait a minute. Did we did we hate on Views, Bill? I think we might have. Drake just get hate. Period. It's just it's Drake. Yeah. Look at Pill's face. He hating right now. Like I just said his name and he like you know I mean I'm sorry. He Drake knows can't, no emotional Drake bag. can't miss. Since Drake been out, Drake can't miss. What's wrong, Pill? Why you always got act like a bitch every time we <laughs> talk about Drake? Yo, what is your problem? Dude, I'm not a fan, yo. Yo, you don't sorry. have to be a fan, but you had to get an attitude just the fact that we mentioned a nigga name, like that's no, it was just the story. You know, people people gonna be mad about my album. I'm like, give a fuck. Just release the album and we're gonna listen to it. That's a fact. God damn. That's true. That's what I said. I'm I, just be ambivalent, yo. You ain't gotta be emotional. Just be ambivalent. That's me. I'll be like, yeah. Like when I heard the story, I was like, whatever. You it's know what Drake, I mean? though. Like, yo. I give a fuck. I mean, yeah, it is I people really out there that will jerk his balls, but I'm good, G. Like, I'm. I, I ain't gonna lie. The only thing I'm interested in seeing on this rollout is, you know, what I mean, the Nike release because he's doing his merch. Through Nike, oh yeah. So they yeah. they doing a t shirt, they doing sneakers, the whole nine. That would maybe be hard. So, but you know what they going to do? They only going to print up a certain amount, mm-hmm. and it's going to be sold out in the first ten seconds. Ten years. I fucking hate. Now that's what I hate. I hate the fact that they'll come up with some dope shit, but they never put out enough so that it's people can really release. get it and enjoy it. They only put out. Enough so that it'll sell out and it'll be like, oh, and, like then, the, and then you got your reselling prices going for shit. Fuck eight hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah it's 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 like the Nipsey Hustle. Like if you get the Nipsey Hustle Adidas outfit and the sneaker, like yo, the sneaker retail for sixty five, but now it's like two three hundred dollars. Like come on, bro, I'm not trying to pay no three hundred. This is like the uh, for some shit that niggas ain't even gonna this, wear. This Drake sneaker might be four hundred dollars again. Yeah. It's like when the Yeezy Yeezy slippers first came out, they was crazy, <sighs> and people bought them. I know. I know. Yeah. I know some niggas that's got money and they want to show niggas that, and I, that's really the only reason why niggas buy it. They show, show niggas, niggas that they got, got money. money. And it's like, and it's it's okay to, to wrong, like yeah. nice things, but it's like okay, are you niggas buy shit then press other niggas? Thanks. I want Yeezys because Yeezys look comfortable as fuck. They, they are comfortable. They look, yeah, I, they do look ugly, but I'm they not look comfortable. That looks like that on my. I'm, I, I it's, it's, it's different when you're when you're just like buying stuff for when comfort or when you buy it right. for something yeah. else. Like I buy something because I like the way that it looks on me and I like nice things. Yeah, I don't ugly. buy shit to be like, oh, like, look at me, I got money. That's the reason why I don't really wear my Thames like that because Thames is not comfortable. For they're me. not comfortable at all. They're not comfortable. They're for they're me. just for a look. 
Honestly. It's definitely a look, but the Nike boot is more comfortable than the Timberland boot. Nike boot is fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't like Nike boots. Yeah. I don't like any not high top would sneaker. Do you, you wear Ugg boots? No, nah, that's gay. <laughs> no, so, they um, <laughs> Childish Gambino uh says the season three and four of Atlanta will be the greatest T V experience of all time. Where mm-hmm. is Atlanta right now on like T V? Like is it FX. It's on FX, yeah. Oh, he said it's greater than The Sopranos. Huh? Huh? Yeah. See, I never watched it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. you got to watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's good. pretty good. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say pretty good. It is really good. It's pretty good. It's out of I the mean, box. I mean, at least the one it, season it's really I crazy. saw was really good. Is what? The one season I saw was good. Did you saw the first season? I saw the second the first season. season. I saw the oh, the second season is way better than the first season. No. Dead ass, bro. <laughs> Dead ass, so. Yeah, I got to. You can you can doubt me the same way Fame doubted me when I said you need to watch Boys season two, and he was like, I don't know if I want to watch oh, it. Yeah, I was like, two was it's crazy. way better. He's yeah. like, there's no way for it to be better than no, season one. Yeah, be, yeah, boy season, season two is. Crazy. Crazy. This nigga was texting my phone while he was watching it, <laughs> the whole time with all these emojis and shit. Like, <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my fucking god! And then when he got, and I'm like watching the shit. I'm watching the testimony. going, oh yeah, it's coming up. He bought the. He bought the flip. Once out. he did, he called my phone. Yo, what the fuck you got me watching, Bree? <laughs> he was so pissed. Yo, what the fuck, man? Yo, this motherfucking dude sucking off another dude. I'm like, yeah, I know yeah. this fucking shit is crazy. Yeah. I said it's transgender. Yeah. Then he was like. Oh shit! His yeah, <laughs> head exploded. Yeah. Like, oh, Ooh. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah nigga. Yeah. It's like, so it's such a unique way to approach transgender issues. Anyway, Childish Gambino also let us know that he's working on new music. I'm okay. Wanna, I'm okay with that. I want to use this moment to uh, speak oh, on something that I really don't shit. like. Um, this, this ain't gonna be good. No, I'm not. It's not gonna be a thing. But can we stop talking retirement shit? Cause Childish Gambino was talking about I'm retiring, I'm not making music no more. Oh. Just shut the fuck up, bro. If you're tired, just go sit down somewhere. Just go take a break. Just go take a break. You ain't got to issue a retirement statement, and I'm done, and I ain't doing this no more, and all that other gay shit. That I shit feel gets... like when you gotta make an announcement about something that you're doing, you ain't really doing it. That's a fact. Just, just do it. Just go home. But yeah, take just, your ball and go home. Just do it. Just, <laughs> just do whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to just make go on the studio, make music, and not release it, then right. do it. Just take your guitar. Just go ahead. Yeah. Get but in your it, Maserati. Don't judge me because I like recently, probably like a couple years ago, just really found out Childish Gambino's real name was Donald Glover, wow. and it was the same person. Wow. This was like a couple of years ago. Really sad. I'm so sorry for you. Wow. But yeah, that happened. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right, I gotta turn it off. That's funny. Whoever's at home, they're gonna be like, why the fuck is all this noise playing? My phone <laughs> fell on the soundboard, okay? My bad. All right. Um, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Oh, let me go to make sure I got the right one. Let me go. I got the right one. I wanna make sure. Uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have won the election. And there's a hand claps. Yes. This is a very good moment in history for not only blacks, but. Black women <laughs> for the blacks for the blacks. This is good for the blacks. This is good for the blacks. It's good for the Mexicos <laughs> yes. and the Asians. As a the Asiatics black woman to see a woman, a black woman in office as in a position of power is in the way that we came. It's just is a good. This is good for me. But yes. y'all hated it when it was announced. I didn't hate her. I didn't say Wait that. Women announced what. That, that she, she was, was running. She was running for vice president. My thing I is, did. I said I hate. No, no, no. I'm not saying, it's I'm not saying y'all in general. I'm saying I feel like black people hated that decision because they didn't like. Well, I think they, they didn't like her past and what the things that she said for before then. So I, I seen it even with on a uh, on a post that I was on, and I'm just reading everybody just tear this woman down. Like, oh, she's this and she doesn't do this, and I'm like, okay, that was her past. She was a prosecutor or whatever the case may be. So now, but you had like your your daughter is looking up to someone like, damn, mommy, that could be me. That's mm. the moment that we should be taking a part of, not okay. Yes, her morals and values, but that's at the end of the day, that your job is to teach your child more. Your that child in the moment from day one though, not and it, it should have, elected. but you know, but people they and, retarded, and you have people looking at these other people to be their saviors, and when you have to be a your own savior, you're looking at okay, yes. Biden and Kamala, Kamala, can't even talk. Kamala, Kamala got 
Trump out of office. But okay, yes, they're they're doing a job. They're not coming here to save you. You have to save you. So, um, she is right. Uh, please run this back and listen to Morgan say that about two, three more times. However, if you don't see any excitement on my face, it's because it ain't over yet. I feel like it's not. You know, we still we, got a long way to go between now and a hell the, of a up with the transition. January twenty um, first. Yeah, because I feel like because Trump is petty. He's a he's a petty. He can like put all some type of shit in office and be like. Then again, no, because then he got to go through. But even still, but you just know Trump is a petty person. He's a sore loser. Yeah. But we still have he, this man is still in the office for another two months. Right. So like right now, he sent like a dozen or so lawyers to the Supreme Court to try to get the count stopped. Then when that didn't work, he sent another dozen lawyers in to uh, to do a recount. Um, initially, over the weekend, they dismissed it, but they. I think they filed it, the charges a different way. So now they're actually considering it. So there could be the possibility of a recount. Mm -hmm. Um, He is still trying the route of taking control of the, uh, of the electric, the, 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 what the hell they call it? The electoral college. Yeah. The electoral college, because technically his, it's his option to choose who would serve on the electoral college is not, up to the Senate or the, the, or the Congress. Really? So, like, he could really do some slick shit if he wanted to. They trying to stop that from happening. So, like I said to you Once this man come out, he's going to jail. Mm. I mean, besides all of that, I mean, that that is a possibility, but it's a possibility that it won't happen. Mm-hmm. But um, I think the bigger thing is is that he's a sore loser. Yeah, he don't like the, he doesn't like that embarrassment. I feel like he's embarrassed right now, and it's really just a vibe of because like, the American people have spoken. Facts and it's like you, you dancing in the sh- literal literal dancing in the streets. You did parades, you see outside of the White House when yeah. Biden was announced? Yeah. So you have to talk like America does not like you. Only people that like you are the open racists in this. In this and it's not as racist. You have made racism come. It's always been there, but right. it's, you've made it more publicly now. Right. But the American people have spoken. Right. They spoke twice when Obama became, was in president for both years. Right. Only reason why Obama not is because you a president's only allowed two terms. Right. But if if Obama was allowed a third term, if that Trump would have not like so. Yeah, I agree. And it's like, but then like you were mad because you thought because you won the election because the who was who who let who did he's going up against before who when uh it was time for him to. Who was his um, you talking about, talking uh, about Trump? The, Trump, the first time? Clinton. Nah, first time Trump ran. Ran Hillary who? Clinton. It was, it was okay, Clinton. Mm-hmm. And it's so crazy because Hillary won the popular vote. Yeah, yeah. She should have been our president, but yeah, you know that would have been dope. So like, I, I I really suggest people really do some research on the electoral college because it's mm-hmm. not as frivolous as you would think it is. Right. It, it's like the electoral college is all about. Uh, equalizing the power between the states. Mm -hmm. So if it was all about the vote count, then obviously the president would be uh, elected based off of the biggest states. Mm -hmm. So like really small states like Delaware wouldn't have any kind of power in that type of struggle. Mm -hmm. So the electoral college is all about giving the smaller states the same um, power base that a new, you know, like New York or California would have Texas and your neighbors and stuff like that. Like that. Right. So it's basically our vote goes to a person who now could say, it's "Like, all right, the majority right. of this, like, it's right. one of our votes is like." I mean, how can I shock? It's I still important. This? It's so like, important say, friends, because Maryland, we all voted so that we can determine what Maryland's vote is going to be in the election. In the election, so like, right. if we all vote blue. Then Maryland votes blue, which is Democrat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it turns red, then it's Republican. So like, oh, and so each state makes a vote on who the president on is who the be. president. Right. So yes, your vote still matters. It matters, but it's like it's a portion. Right. You have to do your job in your state to make sure the state swings the way you want it to the swing. Same. Exactly. And like once I, once you're, you're so it's like everyone in the state of Maryland is voting for Maryland. So in Maryland right. as one state. Has this, that vote for has that right? So it's like won. the state of Maryland voted for Biden. Like you have right. Texas voted for, uh, I think Trump. Trump. Yeah. yeah. So it's like each county, you say you had some people, whatever the case may be, but right. it's like your the whole your state as a whole voted for this person. Right. Right. So you That's know, what I mean? just trying to give you all some information so y'all have a better understanding. Um, 
Uh-huh. And that way, and it is important because in this country, we have a lot of big ass fucking states mm-hmm. and their votes would increase the amount of influence that they would have in an election. And that would be fucked up. So if we like Maryland is a small state in mm-hmm. comparison to a lot of these other ones. So us being able to have an equal say so in this in this uh, election process is a fair and respectable thing. And it mm-hmm. also goes a long way to kind of understanding like how intelligent our forefathers were. And I know if you listen to white people talk on their talk shows, they really kind of like marvel and drool over how great the constitution was and the mm-hmm. framing of our, our uh, democracy. But I mean, it is, they really, really spent a lot of time um, coming up with ways to make it balanced for men all over the country. Notice I didn't say women or and I didn't say black people. I just said men, white men, uh, to have, you know, this kind of fair and balanced system. And there's all, there's so many checks and balances in the system. Now there are leaks and flaws within it or whatever. And mm-hmm. all of the other issues we were talking about between, um, giving women this and doing that in the third for minorities. But at the end of the day, it's a really good system. So yeah. like, but at the end of the day, the fight ain't over, please y'all. Like, and, and the thing I was saying before they announced, uh, when we were going through the election process is that be safe outside. Please yes. be careful. Don't assume that the world, I know a lot of y'all are crying and y'all happy and y'all want to run around acting like, you know what I'm saying? Everything that you experience before the election, it doesn't exist anymore. No, there are a lot of white boys out here, fucking arm to the teeth, uh, mm-hmm. uh, upset, even more upset now than they were before. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a lot of individuals, and I'm not trying to put this on white people versus black people. There are a lot of people outside, period, who are unhappy, who don't like the way things are going. Uh, they would like to go a different direction, and and your happiness uh, equals to their unhappiness. So, mm-hmm. like, please be careful, be mindful. Uh, and then the other component is is have conversations, don't have arguments. You know what I mean? Like, don't get so emotional when people... If somebody voted for Trump, yo, that is not signal you to say fuck you. and mm-hmm. like, I think that shit is ridiculous. Yo, f- talk to people. A lot of times, people are misinformed. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the right information, and they are voting based off of or what they know. Or not even that. They could, they could probably teach you something about the, about the situation that you didn't even know. Correct. Mm-hmm. And, you know... I think that's at the end of the day, it should be all about and coming upon us to be on this journey to being better, more informed people. Um, I one last thing I want to add, and then we can go to the last segment for the show is, and I didn't put this on the rundown. Uh, I watched the clip from the intro from the Saturday Night Live. So uh, Dave Chappelle flew in from his home and he went on Saturday Night Live. This was, I guess this is now the tradition now. Uh, He made, he was on Saturday Night Live for the first time, uh, I think, in 10 or 15 years uh, when Trump was elected. It was a big moment for him. And he chose to speak about the election. And he called, he asked for all of us as American citizens to give Donald Trump a chance. Uh, obviously, when he took stage the other night, it was completely different. Um, it was very politically motivated. Very hilarious. It it was funny, but it it, it, it could have been. And from what I see, a lot of people on Twitter and online, there are people that a lot of people upset because he does what he normally does, but he really pushed the he pushed the envelope, and he said a lot of stuff. Um, Let me find it for you. I remember people tweeting about him. uh, Saying like, and I got into a tweet war where people were saying that he's transphobic. And that he's not funny and he doesn't make any sense and he's this and that. I would like to speak to those individuals right now. Um, I'm challenging you. If you feel like he's transphobic, show me the skit. Show me the stand up routine. Show me where he verbalized this statement. If you want to talk about something or if you want to discredit somebody, be prepared to bring something to the table. You know, um, Dave Chappelle is by no means a politician uh, and by no means a person that is uh, in at any point. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, obligated to speak in a certain way. Mm-hmm. It ain't his job to make you feel good about your life. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not. It's not his responsibility to have to watch his mouth. Or he don't. He's not. He can do whatever the fuck he want to do. He's already been canceled. 
Mm-hmm. He done already had everything taken away from him. Mm-hmm. And then he's in a place now where he's comfortable with who he is. And he is doing what he feels as though is right for his art form. Yep. You know what I mean? And he is making his opinion. Do I agree mm-hmm. with everything that he said on uh, SNL? No. Am I here to sit here and try to bash him because I feel like he was a little off color and a little off base? No, my nigga. But that's his prerogative as an artist. That's uh, his yeah. art. And you a know? lot of people look at Dave because his wife is what, Asian? Yes. <laughs> Filipino, actually. But well, go okay. Yeah, she's not black. No. So, and another, another, people, so now you mad at him because he ain't, absolutely he ain't not. marry a black love, woman? Love is love. I don't really don't care. Love who you he want. He need to marry a burnt chocolate chick? That's no, what you can care. marry and love who you want. Oh. I don't care. I'm not that person. Okay. Right. You can I, Me, I feel you can be pro-black and love who you love. Oh, okay. We're going to find when when you uh marry King Jung Un, just let us know we'll be at the wedding. King Jung <laughs> Un. Wow. Mm, not my type, but we can go, but no. He's a billionaire that runs an entire country. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that gets that change. <laughs> We, we I mean, well, he is. He don't even like. He don't even like Americans. He's he's kind of sure. I'm quite sure if I sent him a picture of you, I think he would like. It. Don't <laughs> he doesn't he, even like Americans. I, I don't think he would have a problem inviting you over for a couple of drinks for real. For real. <laughs> this nigga has his own military force. Like, <sighs> yo, he's got he's got fucking America at a, at a fucking standoff right now, and mm-hmm. you wouldn't date this nigga. Like, I would date the nigga. Like, <laughs> no, yo, fuck that, yo. You try, yo, pill. You try and tell me if Hillary Clinton. <laughs> oh, okay. Change the narrative. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, I'm, not, I'm, not talking about, I'm just saying, like, if if you try and tell me if you was a woman and Ken John, you was broke the same no. way you are now. You was a woman. You give King Jong Un some. If I was a woman, yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. You give him some. Same thing if it was Hillary Clinton and she was like, yo, I like that little pill. Let me get it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right, right, exactly. <laughs> It is what it is, my nigga. Mm-hmm. If it was Margaret Thatcher, you know what I'm saying, Margaret. in the United Kingdom, shit. <laughs> Get some of that London pussy. Oh mm-hmm. my god, that old London pussy, the old London. Pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah. At the end of the day, y'all get it over it, man. Stop tripping on Dave Chappelle. For y'all be all right, yeah. Y'all live. Stop being so goddamn sensitive. You goddamn right about that shit. All right. Uh, last thing for the night: ten things pretty people do that cause havoc in the dating world. Uh- Oh yeah, Morgan. Did you want to leave now, or or are you brave enough to to sit through? I want to see. I ain't got nothing. I don't know what y'all talking about. Oh, you don't know what we talking about? No. Yeah, that means For you, real? That means you got pretty people, bro. Yeah, boy. I do not. So we talk. We said pretty people, meaning male and female. So like, this is not a pile up session to just talk about everything that Morgan did wrong. We talking number about men. Ten. And it's number ten pill. Pretty people feel like they entitled to everything. Facts. They are fucking entitled to every entitlement fucking is definitely thing, a, a characteristic of a pretty person. Don't matter what it is, I want it and I should have it. Why? And let me tell you why. Because I'm pretty. It's because yeah. in this world that we live in, pretty people are naturally treated differently. Only Facts. because we like pretty things. Like when you grow, if you was a baby and you was a pretty little girl or a pretty little boy, everybody compliments you all the time. Oh, that's a little, little pretty little thing. Oh, da, 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 da. Hey, you want some candy? Or I mean, I'm gonna do something for you. Da da da. That is just what it is. So you kind of grow up. It's kind of your fault, but it's kind of not your fault. You gr- you were raised with a little sense of entitlement, so therefore it is what it is. All right. So like, so number nine, uh, Morgan. So what are the traits that you have that drive everybody else crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to be single now? Oh, because you're the only person you're on the show that's attractive. So that's like, a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. But I don't have pretty people problem. <sighs> All right. So number nine, yo, <laughs> the I, complete ambivalence that pretty people feel, not knowing that they are causing havoc in the world and thinking that they're not pretty. That is probably the most annoying pretty person problem. Is like, yo, my nigga. You are the problem. You are always the problem, and you're causing the problem. problem. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. (laughs) Okay, that's that's going too far. I was playing. I'm playing. But it is, there's a hairline of truth, but I don't think it's in, I don't think Morgan is that person. So I'm like, not that person. I. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We listening. You are. You are. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That makes sense. That's pretty people problems. They never know what to say <laughs> when they be put on spot. Number eight. <laughs> word, word. You put on the spot. Really? So like, let me. All right. So I'm gonna say number eight uh, is uh, not not knowing, like the the. I'm sorry. This is the the what's called. All right. So they deal with abundance. The sure. same way here, yeah, right? Uh, pretty people's uh, 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 complaining about abundance is annoying to us who have a scavenge and and you know what I'm saying and in a broke broke world. So it'll be like a pretty person would be like, all these motherfuckers, they always in my DMs. They are always trying to take me out and spend their money on me, and they won't leave me alone. I just wish I could be alone and unbothered. <laughs> but these you. individuals, they will just never leave me alone. I wish I could get half that. If I could just spend some time by myself so that I could figure out who I am. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, you think I'm cute? Oh, that's so wonderful. Shall we go out? Oh, but but you know, no, I don't want you. And then the rest of us over here that can't get a date to save our lives, we done hollered at 15, 20,000 people, and they keep saying, fuck out my face, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. I hope you fucking die. When people, when you be like, damn, yo, hello, how you doing? And then they're like, fuck you, don't touch and talk to me, you fucking ugly piece of shit. When the bitches is fucking literally treating you like you are about to attack them, and the only thing you did was say hi, and you look pretty today, and they fucking take that shit to the umpteenth degree. But the pretty person cannot say anything, and you just fall. All over, all over top of them. Pretty much. When a pretty person walks in the room and everybody naturally just Looks gravitates weird. towards them and they all having happy discussions and you walk in the room, they're not saying shit to you. Yeah, Why? Not. Because people don't give a fuck. When you unattractive, people don't give a fuck if you live or, or die, die, nigga. They not coming to your funeral. They don't call your phone. Do you think my phone rings, my nigga? My phone don't ring. My phone sure Nobody's don't ring. DMing me to be like, hey, nope. Handsome Never. You know what I'm saying No It doesn't Never. happen It even. doesn't There's no none of that I When I go it. out In the social settings Nobody walks up to me And starts conversations I just don't like Give I gotta up. pay for people To show me attention The only time Let me tell you To be honest The only time people You would walk up to me And have conversation Or would like Interact with me Is when they found out That I was a powerful person And I had something That they needed mm. That's when uh, uh, Fine ass chicks Would just randomly come And start talking to me And I'm just like Bitch I am not getting you A record deal Like And I'm not putting you On a radio show So get the fuck Out of my face Bitch Then you ain't shit After that Facts Pretty Well people. I wasn't shit before It's just she thought She could try to finesse Oh Oh they gonna put yeah. Their titties in your face But they don't want you To touch them But they I wanna put Their titties So Pretty um people. that was number eight Yeah so this whole uh, Abundance Like when when uh, Pretty people have Let me not point at Morgan So pretty people Have abundance And complain about it It makes us Other people That don't have abundance Annoyed Like literally my nigga I will take one of your Castaways And then pretty people Wanna try to hold on To the castaways Like What's up with that? Let's go to number seven. How pretty people want to own everything. Come on, bro. They entice her. Let's go you back ain't to even want to fuck nigga last I'm week. Now, you know what I'm saying? You don't even like shorty, but can I hit that? Oh, now you want, okay, now you want to cuff it because you just don't want nobody to have a leg up on you. I understand. That's just, I pretty pretty that's people pretty got people that they can just call for anything. Yo, and yeah. be like, and that's most they can be in a whole seven. relationship and everything. All right, you that's don't want to do it? Let me call my best friend. That's oh, a fact. Okay, best friend. Definitely. I can say uh, pre- people have options because they are like, yeah. I feel like women should just have pretty, but if you are attractive, you are nah, going. You're bound I, to have more options. I have a lot of female friends around me. I have a lot of unattractive female friends. They don't have no they options. Have nothing. Nothing. Nobody's going to buy them lunch. Nobody's going to take them anywhere. Nobody's going to help them change their tire. Nobody's going to move a box. Nobody, if they tripped and fell on the ground, nobody would give a fuck, my nigga, because they don't fit the description of what the world defines as attractive. I have, I got some homegirls, some beautiful, wonderful just wonderful Just the most kindest Gentlest people You ever want to meet That are the most Giving people in the world That have been treated Like fucking Shit. Trailer park trash yo Because That's just what it is bro That's just the name of the game Do you feel like Unattractive people Have to do more Just to be Yes 
Look at how amazing I have to be of a person mm-hmm. and I still get ignored, nigga. Facts. How many all right, like, come on, let's have a real conversation, Morgan. How many chicks do you know that are complete pieces of shit? All of them. Just I oh, mean, God. I'm talking about complete pieces of shit. Pussy smell like shit. Oh my god. Bad attitude, bad personality. And don't put your clutcher, cause I could name about eight bitches that we both know mutually between us. That fall into all of those things. I don't know how they vagina smell, but I've heard through the grapevine that it don't smell that good. And niggas is flooding the DMs all day, everything. And then the bitch will be on the gram like, fuck all of y'all fucking hate y'all. And another bitch and I'm not. Horrible personalities. Well, that's a problem with niggas flying them to Tulum and flying them all over the place. And I know chicks that and stab niggas. Like literal stab Not like stab Oh I hurt your heart No Like she fucking stab niggas Fought niggas in the street Bitches And niggas be like I still love you I love you <laughs> <laughs> I spent my life with you Can I buy you some heels And the <laughs> Power of the pussy That's the looks bro Some oh, niggas ain't even a, getting the pussy Oh that's fact Some niggas not even getting that's the pussy That's a fact yeah, that's, yeah, a that's a fact There's a lot of niggas out fact. here Flying chicks out off the off the gram. Yeah, that's true. Come on, Morgan. So, all right. So now you gonna play the role now? So you trying to defend these? Uh, you trying to? Defend I ain't defending people? nobody because I don't know. Because my circle of friends <laughs> are probably the worst. I attractive young women. You know what I mean? Um, that work for their own shit. They don't. Yeah, we'll be at number four. Like, Having a job ain't got nothing to do with like it. I know, shit. I know a ton of pretty chicks that got jobs and but I'm just saying, niggas like, is still flying them out and they treat them like shit. They talk like shit. Oh, I, I, I can't, I, mean? I can't, I can't speak for them people because I'm not uh, that person. I don't. How I don't how know. pretty people will meet a really great person, but that person is just not good enough because they're. It's always some picking any shit that really is like. So you're <sighs> happy, the great person, the the girl is awesome, but. Her toes are long. What? Yeah, people do have absurd I'm sure. or, things. Uh, you know to look what I mean? Women, yo, yo, it's like females say, you know, what one person won't do, another person will. And ugly people are like, well, if you won't do it, then so fuck the it, ugly I'll person do it. always got to <laughs> take one for the team. I Is mean, it what? So the ugly person always has to take one for the team. I mean, it's not. It's not got to. It's almost a force. It's all. It's not a force. No, it's not. It's. Yo, I, 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 do I want to get laid tonight, nigga? I'm gonna have. Yo, I used to take. Yeah. I. This is a real fact. Mm. At the time, one of my really close friends, Rico, mm. he was having pro- financial problems because he had two kids and he was like 23 years old. So I was making good money. I would dress this nigga up. Pause. No homo. I would take him on on Friday. We both go to Foreman Mills. Get this nigga outfit. Give me an outfit. Why? Because when this fly nigga walks through the door with his fly nigga antics. Mm-hmm. Yo, the extra fall off pussy that he's not fucking with, I'm getting he's laid. Getting laid too. That's just a fact. Mm-hmm. I took this nigga. I've done so many experiments, literal experiments, not no made up shit off. No, I'm saying I would literally be like, all right, I'm going to get dressed up and you're not going to get dressed up and let's go out and see how chicks act. All right, I'm going to be the charismatic one and we'll see if they. No, they're not. Okay, you standing there busted with an old ass outfit on. These bitches are still in your face. It's that light skin, skinny shit. It's. Though. it's yeah, tall, tall light skin, skin yeah. like you know what I mean. I don't like light because skin, guys. I, I I feel like he's your tone. He like your tone maybe a little bit. Yeah, though. I feel like, like yeah. Technically I feel so like because like- <laughs> I feel like because you know if you I feel like it's it's kind of, I don't want to say it's in weight classes, but I feel like you attract a certain a different crowd with how you look. Mm-hmm. You know Absolutely, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, and, and it's not fair that people would like me. That's ugly. That's not true because you're not really. Because you can be ugly as hell and be fly as I, fuck. I feel like you not ugly, nigga. You are self sabotaging. That's your that's your fucking problem. You are self sabotaging. You know what I mean? Because instead of because you send off mixed signals all of the time. So like, if, neither one of you guys are ugly. Let's just put that out there. It's and it's just like we get it, we get it. Good. Our moms think us attractive. That's great, yeah, but that's we're not. We're talking about fucking. We're not just talking about <laughs> social like norm. Oh like yes, I wear clean clothes. I get haircuts. I wear nice clothing. I know how to carry myself. We but get I it. know some. I I know some some ugly females, but like yo, she can dress her ass up so it makes her cute, and people will look past that. 
And it's possible. See, I but know that's the difference, though. Also, uh, I, find, I, I find all right. So this is will be number three. Is that pretty people always try to bring everybody to the equation level to make it seem like that there's an equality? There is there's no, no equality. equality. You could come out of the house with some, but you came out looking thugged out the other day. Like there was still a nigga that was looking at you like, oh, fuck I fuck, I just want to marry that. I just want to have five kids with her, Not and I'll give kids. her my last paycheck wherever I live, where I die. I jump in front of a gun for it. Now the ugly chick will get dressed up. And will look like a strong seven, and the nigga will go. My dick is hard. I will fuck it, but he's not considering yeah. jumping in front of a car yeah. for that. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Chicks are not jumping in front of cars for me. Facts. However, they will. Die. I have a list of Negroes that I know. A bitch won't even know the nigga name, and will be like ready to fight over a chick just because they seen the nigga somewhere, and you'll be like, "What the fuck?" I mean, Morris Chestnut. You'll probably be like. You know, whatever, whatever your type is, Jeezy. That is, it'll be Jeezy. You'll see Jeezy. Hi. Right. He don't have to say nothing, but you already ready to throw your drawers at this nigga <laughs> and fight the chick have, next to him. She's not gonna have nothing on. All right, not getting into all of that. So, it's like, fine. that's that's where we coming from. Irrelevant. Number two. Irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. Um, that was irrelevant. Pretty people problems. Uh, another pretty girl problem. Excuse okay. me. Oh, I know. Pretty human problem. Good. A pretty chick will go to the bar with no money. And get drunk. And that's not a problem, though. <laughs> that's, not a problem. So that's not a problem. I'm just saying, it's, a, it's a problem. Like It's, it's not a problem. That that's, is that's a, a, that's a part of entitlement. Too. I mean, that's a skill. That's a skill. Like, when a pretty girl knows she's pretty and she, she, she utilizes it, I think that's a plus. Because it's a plus for, because if you're friends with a pretty girl, then she's going to make sure you get drinks. Absolutely. She can get you in everywhere. I'd like, I've, I've been that friend. Like, I don't think going it's a out, I'm, I will have you in the in the, the section with the athletes, the drug dealers, and the, the right, rappers. Right, right. I don't want to be in no sections with those niggas. But that's my I understand friend. where you come from. Well, my, friend, my friend's like, oh, but sure, are you good? We, I, and, and that era growing up, like years ago, I had uh, party promoter friends, so I didn't have to pay to get into it. I didn't have to pay to drink. So, I mean. Mm. Never had that before. So, pretty girl problem number three. Okay. How we go from two to three? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, are we at number two? Are we at number no, two? Well, you try to do number three, but that's not a problem. That's a benefit of being pretty. It's no. not, but it's a problem. I mean, it's not a problem. Right, it's not. Who, who who has a problem with that? Because even if I'm buying a pretty girl a drink, I'm doing it because I want to keep her around and I want her to stay around and be social. So, like, yes, I'm gonna get you drunk because I want you. I want the potential of me being able to get some by me telling you some sweet shit and getting you a little elaborated so it sounds better. Now, Number two, it makes me look good because now you're around me. And, you know what I'm saying, that actually helps me to yeah. attract other women and other people in potential situations for networking. Okay. So, anyway, so that is a benefit to that. So, let's go back. So, we'll etch out your number three. And I'm going to etch in this number three. Uh, attractive person problem is unreliability. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 yo, attractive people are unreliable, mainly because their life is so full of options mm. uh, that they don't even actually see. But, and that's another pretty person problem with having so many options. Your all their head is always in a tizzy, so they're always not knowing which direction to go, and and they think they're being free spirited, but what they're doing is being completely unresponsible, where they could just really organize their life. But when you have eighteen thousand dick options, when you have eighteen thousand food options well with the dick or pussy options comes the food option the trip option where to spend the afternoon options the different club options the different potential upgrades to your life options i mean who knows which option to go with yeah. so you're always kind of like you know uh, and then comes in number two the non-commitment of anything problem because <laughs> come with the pretty shit Comes with the the constant trying to find yourself or figure out what's going on in the existence because you don't have to make a decision. You don't have to decide. And it actually benefits you to not decide because the longer you spend not deciding, more options come. New individuals come. And with those new individuals come new potential options. And it becomes a wondrous world for attractive people. Where the rest of us, we don't have that. That abundance does not exist. So we do end up scheduling your life and making stuff happen. Why? Because your phone's not ringing. People ain't throwing shit at you. Nobody's throwing me trips to wherever. You know what I mean? So you got to find some friends and some people. Yo, which is pretty, comes the pretty girl, pretty person problem number one. Uh Uh-oh. 
when pretty people tell you they're your friend, they're not your friend. Good. They really don't give a fuck. Let me clarify if you haven't understood throughout this whole conversation. That's- pretty people don't give a fuck about anybody but, they but themselves. Damn. Do pretty people call and check up on you? Fuck no. No, they don't. Do pretty people really come out of their pocket and really look out for you? Fuck no, no, they don't. Do yeah. pretty people put themselves, I mean, put put you before themselves? Fuck no. no. Now, should they? Not no. really. They don't no, have, to, have to. But that's the great cover story for it. But us no. ugly people, we have to look out for each other. Because we, got to for you to talk we to don't me. have options. People aren't coming at us. That's right. So we kind of got to hunt right. in packs. That's right. We have to socialize in packs. Preach. We have to we have to pat each other up and be supportive. That's right. That's right. Nobody has to support. Or, you know. You know what? Everybody's trying to support a pretty person. And, Everybody's presenting. And they don't even options. want to support. Yeah, because guess what? The moment a pretty person feels any emotion, elation, sadness, there's somebody there with a tissue or an option or please don't feel bad. That's a good don't, point. That's all. Because at the end of the day, as much as pretty people give you the bullshit that they talk about, and in, in their minds, there probably is some level of reality, but it's probably some skewed warp shit that they've came through because they might have got raped at one point in time or, right. you know, right. some dumb shit happened. You know, but at the end of the day, the reality of it is you're still living in a world of abundance. Mm-hmm. And you still have choices. Now, you might be now a little bit skewed on your perspective because you might have a lot of options, but now you're thinking that all of the the Tulum options come with rape or all of the whatever options come with somebody taking advantage of you or whatever. Well, you know, boo-hoo could chew you. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Ugly motherfuckers is getting raped every day and ain't no options coming behind it. At all. Somebody's coming to take advantage. You know what? What's even worse is not only do you have to deal with the potential of rape with somebody that doesn't even really like you, is that you have the potential of being taken advantage of by a pretty person who just wants to use you God. for their own personal fucking benefit. Jay- These uh, useless uh, piece of shit individuals. To to oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This is perfect. JS1 for president. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. JS1 for president. These people yeah. who really unconsciously, because they're whole lives are set up a certain way mm. they have a tendency to take advantage and I didn't know I was taking advantage of you I thought we were really friends really so when I was sick you didn't bring me no soup nope. <laughs> when I ain't soup? had no fucking you should know because <laughs> when you were sick I just brought the soup I didn't ask you if you need soup yeah, you were sick <laughs> you didn't even call a check up on a nigga Cause oh when ugly God. people get hungry, you know what we do, so we don't sit in a world by ourselves. We gotta cook it ourselves. You hungry, my nigga? Why don't you come kick it with me? Cause I don't want to. I'm uh, depressed <laughs> yeah, and alone, okay, okay, okay. so I want to invite people over, so I'm not depressed. Yes, so we have a tendency to ask people and treat people well because you just want people around. We don't want to be alone. You just want somebody to care about you or to love you. And that's why we end up snuggling up underneath for attractive people because you think that their light is going to shine down on you and they're genuinely going to appreciate you and love you, but they don't. Sometimes we just want you to pretend to like me for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Facts. How fucked up shit. And some of us just want the fall off of what comes with being with a pretty person. Mm. Sometimes we want to go on VIP, man. Sometimes we want to get a free drink. Sometimes because I can't even do that because I'll go sit in VIP. Everybody be looking at me like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" Type situation it's, 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 it's fucked up And you hope that your pretty friend Would just pat you up And support you in those moments No cause then but, they gonna look at you like Damn you really shouldn't be here I will never forget Until they find another pretty person To, to, to kind of have a hot love hate relationship with but Go ahead I will never forget I was with I never told this story to anybody Uh oh I went to the club And I was Got it for free Given, um, <laughs> pretty piece. <people. laughs> I was dating a football Get player in. at the time, mm-hmm. and I walked in. He had a section or whatever. I was with mm-hmm. three of my homegirls, mm-hmm. and we walked in the section. He was like, "Come here," and then he was like, "This your homegirls?" I was like, "Yeah." He was like, <laughs> "I'm sorry." He put them out the section. Hey, and I was like. He said, no, they got to go. So now, did you stay in the section? 
Oh, I, I left with him. Oh, good, 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 good. I wasn't like. Sure, she did. Oh, oh, okay, for the camera. Okay, I got it. Okay, we'll talk about it off end. Okay. No, 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 I really like. We'll and then I seen my other homeboys, okay. and we went over there with them. It's okay. But it was like we went back to get your free drink. I got my drink when I got. I got handed. I got handed the bottle when I got up there. See what I'm saying? Did you like, take the bottle with you when you left? Of course I did. Did you share it with your friend? Of course I did. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Person. I did. We didn't Nobody say nothing. Said no, said you. And you I'm have like, never been mean. No. I'm like, I'm sorry. If I'm, if we're out, if me and my girls are out, you're not about to just buy me a drink. You're gonna buy my homegirls a drink. My homegirls mm-hmm. a drink. That's just how that's gonna go. Mm-hmm. Well, and then that just is what it is. Like, what you and your girls drinking? And this had this has happened every time that if someone go out with me, they're getting bought drinks because I'm getting bought drinks because mm-hmm. you're pretty. Mm-hmm. Like all my girls is pretty, so it is what it is. No, because if they was pretty, they would have got to stay in the section. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't. Have got, they wouldn't they have up to his standards, but oh. so now they were faced with a prettier person yeah, or yeah. or financially attractive person. Yeah, yeah that makes a difference. If then. they had came without you, they would have been able to sit in the section. No, if they had came, or if she had came without them, she would have stayed. It would have been lit. Well, she would have stayed. She probably she probably stayed regardless. She probably telling us that. You know? I know. I real life. I got out of this section. They didn't want to be in the section anyway. So. Hmm. Whatever, and we got out the section. And I went to another section, so that's what's up. Congratulations, man! It's a lit life to live. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. This is a couple years ago too. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. <laughs> Please take our words and just really, you know, let them all around in y'all heads, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're uh, an unattractive person or an attractive person, bro. Like these are just just love you for who you are. Okay. We all have emotions. We do. Yep. 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 We all have our moments. Sometimes yep. I don't feel like the pretty person. Hey. You know, that's a uh, that's, that's, that's yeah, that's another number in that list. That's, that's probably number problem. eleven on the joint. That's because you don't when, feel like when it. Pretty don't people, people don't feel attractive. Treat you like it. Oh my god, nothing made me want to slap my ex girlfriend in the face more than when she would be like, "I'm so fat, I'm so fat," and I'll be like, "What? I need to lose five pounds." Yeah, that, fuck you, bitch. That, 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 fuck you. That pissed me off. Too. Bitch. All right, we're going to club. We're going to conclude the show. Thank you for tuning just, in to Aries just Lounge. Stop eating for <laughs> Yo, day. Just, you going to drop just, that five pounds. Yo, we if, got DJ Pill in the we, building. <laughs> if we rid the world of all these attractive people, then all of us will become attractive. Nope. Re- remember what I said. If you get rid of the attractive ones, we become attractive. Well, all the ugly people breed cute people. So That is true. That does happen. The ugly people breed cute people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Two ugly motherfuckers can make a fine motherfucker. Yeah. Damn. Is that true? Mm-hmm. And some two pretty people can make an ugly baby. It's all in genetics. Mm-hmm. I've seen it happen, but we're not gonna go. Well, if you take one attractive one and and, and and one ugly person, you can get a marginally attractive kid. Too. Uh-huh. Okay, that makes sense. You yeah. get a bunch I've of marginals. Seen that seen that watch happen. marginals. Yeah. No, no, but I've seen two ugly motherfuckers make uh, like a stunningly attractive. Really? Kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen it happen. Then just, I, I've seen some really attractive people make a. What is that? But. Oh my god I mean look at Jay-Z and Beyonce's baby So anyway uh, <laughs> What is that? Good. You are good nah, what is So it? We are, yeah we are out of here pill you know. Oh did you hear that she's uh, She's about to do a uh, She's about to do the book A uh, voice book or whatever <laughs> She's about to narrate Blue Ivy is a narrator of a book Yes we do know she's that She's about but to narrate the book or whatever Yeah she already did it I it's- just think I let the You know the, everybody know But <laughs> Anyways, I don't really care. I just want to. We got who is DJ Pill in the building? Yo, give yo, give us your social media, man. I'm sorry, I, I was asleep. I'm sorry. So, go, give me, can you give me your social media so I don't go? To uh, sleep? at underscore who is DJ Pill? Nope, that's not right. <laughs> I'm about to say. That's not, <laughs> you didn't change your social media that fast. Um, who is underscore DJ Pill? That's me. Word, yeah, on uh, Insta, Instagram. Word. Morgan, what's your social media? I am on Instagram as Morgan Pretty. On I'm Facebook. sorry, say that again. Morgan, what? Morgan Pretty. And I am on Facebook as Morgan Kill Your Nicole. Masters. I'm just playing. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Message. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Don't touch me, Morgan. Ever. I will kill you. Ever again. So anyway. Ever. Um, again. Uh, again. Not I mean again, but yeah. That was, that was weird. That is yep. very weird. Mm-hmm. Somebody got to die? Yo, another thing, yo, pretty people don't have to be educated at all. That's true. Because people a fact. will just yeah. do the That's most for the pre- yo, pre- yo, pretty people don't have to have any kind of legitimate skills at all. Ever. Because people are just want you around. 
You know what I mean? Anyway. They can I'm, legit be it, pillow princesses. Right. right. Yo! Yo! Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. My, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yo. I just, I had a moment. Dog. Yo! I'm, I'm so sorry. Pretty, <laughs> pretty chicks don't have to know how to do shit, they bro. Do the worst sex partners I've ever had. Pretty chicks. What? Pretty chicks, bro. Pretty chicks. The best sex partners I've ever had. Like, the number one. All right, wait a minute. Just, yeah, like, don't do that. Don't do that. Let's just say. Yeah, a little cool. ugly in the bedroom. Mm. Hmm. Can't get real ugly. Jungle boy. It's like rawr, yeah. rawr, rawr, rawr. animals in that Woo! So anyway. Yeah. Make your legs shake. At Every's Lounge. Y'all see all of the shit at the bottom of the screen. We'll check y'all next week. You know what I'm saying? Um we trying to get this shit together for Thanksgiving. Uh somebody inevitably changed our schedule. I didn't do it. So we gonna make sure we keep it together for y'all. We love y'all. We check y'all next Woo-hoo. week. We out of here. Peace. Peace out.